everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! In the last episode, I finished off everything there was to do within Clanker's Cavern, and then in today's episode, we're going to continue onward to even greater endeavors by checking out the next area of the game, Bubble-Goop's uh, Bubble World. But before doing anything else, there's actually a couple areas I want to check out within Gruntilda's Lair that I have yet to touch on before, uh doing all these other things within that next area. So, without further ado, let's start off by going in here. So, completely neglected to show off this one part a couple times, back when I first entered within this area. But pretty much what is in within here happens to be a bluish fellow right there, but also... You activated a magic cauldron! Fun to the same go to create a shortcut! So pretty much these here are the warp points. Otherwise... Here are the cauldrons, otherwise known as the warp points of the game. And pretty much, once you've found two of the same color, it'll pretty much jump you between each individual point where one is located and the other is. That kind of thing. Yeah, that makes sense, I hope. That's all I really wanted to show off right there, and I just, I don't know how I completely just bypassed that one, but whatever, such is the case of life, I suppose. Anyways. Moving right through here, we can find uh, these two eye holes right there that we kind of opened up thanks to uh, that Gruntilda switch within Clanker's Cavern. So what do we do? We bash the bitch's eyes in like so! Oof, that's brutal. But once we bash this one in, yet another Jiggy will appear! Which means we now have found Jiggy number four in Gruntilda's lair! Yeah! Alright, that's pretty much all I wanted to show off here within this part of Gruntilda's castle that I kind of completely forgot to show off earlier, but whatever, whatever such is the case of myself, of course. Don't worry, at least I'm actually trying to remember the details I'm missing of each game instead of just completely bypassing them in general. But now then, now that we have 300 notes from the combined areas of Mumbo's Mountain, Clanker's Cavern, and Treasure Trove Cove, I believe we have more than enough to get through this note door, so... We can now go through here, so let's go and go into the next area of the game. Or, at least if Gruntilda's there. Yeah. Anyways, though, we're gonna peck this guy square in the face and kill him off like so. Pretty radical. And, uh, yeah, so let's see, go through here. Oh, which way do I wanna go through? Don't wanna go. Oh, first I wanna talk to Gruntilda, as always, see what uh, interesting tidbits of information she has about Gruntilda. So. Okay, your lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty. Eh, that's not that gross, in all honesty. That's not the worst thing I've heard, you say. Okay, the only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition at which school? That's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, anything else? Often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hat. Oh, God! Oh, okay, that is disgusting. That is, that is very disgusting. No one wants to see that. And God, no, I'm not going on DeviantArt to see if that thing actually exists, because if it does... <laughs> no, 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 oh, no! Anyways, though, enough of the most grotesque screaming out of myself. Going through here, we can uh, pretty much reach our destination and go through here, and we can uh, square, uh, smash this guy square in the face. But also, you'll notice that we're in the area where Bubble Goop Swamp is. The entrance to Bubble Goop Swamp is located. Duty says she's fine with me if you go home, I'll set her free! Yeah, right, you rhyming skank. Anyways, though, another Gruntilda, Gruntilda thing right here, so I'm going to check out what she has to say right here. Your fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. Okay. It's kind of wish stereotype, but whatever. Although she's dim, she attended St. Dunball's School. Okay. Kind of lame. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. I'll admit, that's not the dis most disgusting thing I've heard her do as a party trick. For those of you who play this game, you'll know that there are other things she does that are far more disgusting. Far more disgusting. But right here, you'll notice that there are these jumping boots right here. I'm not going to do that voice because I failed doing the belching voice. But yeah, uh, remember these pair of boots for later. Um, they'll come in handy much, much later on in the game. And they'll prove to be probably one of your greatest assets. So, yeah. Anyways, though. Enough rambling out of myself, let's move along forward and jump into this part of the game and one of my favorite stages of the entirety of uh, Banjo-Kazooie, none other than... Bone Swamp. Hey. 
Keep your eyes open for a new move, Big Breath. Oh, I was gonna say Big Breath. Oh, well, cool, it's right here. Oh, good news, good news, ladies and gentlemen, is that okay? We gotta kill this frog. Will you die? Don't die. There we go. There we go. Okay. But as you can tell right here, there's actually uh, Bottles' new move location is right here, making life a lot easier for us. Fish with the waiting boots! Chicken legs, wears them so you can wait, safely wait through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken or er, kazooie, let's go grab a pair! Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy location to find for Bottles' new move. Not that bad. And uh, we actually get probably one of the most useful abilities in the game, which happens to be the springy boots, or the waiting boots. Yeah, not the springy boots. That's Banjo Tooie. That's Banjo Tooie. But first off, before doing anything else, you'll notice that there's this guy here just opening up in his jaw. So, so what we gotta do is just fire an egg in there. I mean, not just like that. And pretty much he's just gonna be jumping from location to location. Me want yummy egg dough. So yeah, pretty much he's gonna be jumping from location to location, to which you have to promptly feed him more and more eggs, so... That's already gonna be, gonna be kind of a pain in the arse, but eh, such is the case of this game, I suppose. Anyways, though, um, before grabbing those, uh, waiting boots right there, the first thing I want to do is grab these notes, of course. Grab all five of them. And then jump over here and grab Jinjo number one! Which is the other one, again. Why the last one is the first one in this area is beyond me, but whatever! Anyways, though, I'm gonna kill this froggy off right there. Good, I actually killed him in one shot. That's that's pretty solid. Gonna grab that golden feather, and grab up here, jump up here, see if there's anything of the usefulness. Just a couple of eggs, but hey, I'll take them. Except I already have maxed out on eggs. Okay, never mind. Anyways, though, I'm just here. Just grab this, grab some wooden notes. Uh, should I smash this thing first? Yeah, I'll smash it. Uh, no, 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 no. First things first. First, before doing anything else, I'm gonna go up around here. Uh, I'm gonna smash, or not smash, gonna grab these notes. Uh, feed Croctus again his uh, nice, healthy dose of eggs, even though some eggs are rather unhealthy. Especially uh, especially those blue ones. I don't even want to know what's in those. What is in those blue eggs anyway, you know? It makes me wonder. Is it really safe to eat a blue egg? Well, I guess it's kind of like eating a robin. Is it a robin? What, what legs blue eggs? Is it robins or... I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up later on. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyways, more notes. What else is new? And here's the green ginger. Okay, that makes life really easy, I suppose. Oh, boy. Anyways, though, okay. Now that, we, uh, now that we've gotten those notes right there, let's smash this thing in the jagger. And that's gonna open up a jiggy. Now, this jiggy is a pain in the arse. Not going to lie. Because as you can tell, you have 45 seconds to get from, uh, Point A to point B, and let me just say, this can be kind of frustrating to do, especially on your first time, but if I could manage to do this in one take, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, let's see, just gotta be careful around this point. Yep, okay, there we go. Oh, wow, that actually, that actually went pretty easily. Wow, normally that takes me like five tries to do. Okay, there we go, cool. And that grants us chicken number one. All right, that, that went a lot easier than expected. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, going around this way, we're gonna go grab some more notes, then uh, hop through here. Let's see if there's anything of importance right here. Eh, nothing really. Uh, but there's an egg right there that I'm gonna probably wanna check out. So I might as well grab the boots and show them off what they can actually do. So, what will happen as soon as you grab them? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay! As soon as I'm about to show the audience something special, you two have to interfere! Okay, yep, yep. That makes perfect sense. Okay, yep. God, why can't I not kill these things? Okay, this is. There we go. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. You need to die, sir. You are being a nuisance. Die! <sighs> Those frogs are going to be in the pain of my cookies somewhere down the line. Anyways, though, what I was going to show off was Kazooie getting some new pair of uh, ticks, growing some large legs like so, and then granting us the opportunity to first grab these notes. I think I'll be on. I think I'm going to now, by the way, you will be on a set timer, so, uh, yeah, once you hear that clock ticking, you'll be kind of running out of time, and then once the timer rings out, Kazooie's legs will shrink back down to normal size, and then you'll be back to normal. So, yeah, if you're, like, wondering, but if it trials, what if I want to be a regular Kazooie again? Well, actually, if you, well, you could wait for the time to run out, or you could just press B. One of those two situations. Anyways, though, extra life, smash the egg. Flip up again. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What we gotta do is hit the X on every spot of the egg. You can't just go and smash and everything like the Incredible Hulk. So, let's see, okay, smash that one. Okay, smash you. Okay, let's see, what do I have to be? Yeah, okay, I have to be crush this thing. One more, so, 
Okay. And I think this will open up for Jiggy. There we go. And this will grant us Jiggy number two, I believe. Yep, Jiggy number two. Okay, that's pretty radical. Okay, so let's see here. Just moving right along, as my old saxophone teacher used to say to me. Back when I was taking lessons with him. I, it has been so long since I picked up my sax. I feel bad. Now, here I am giving my saxophone teacher like a decent sum of cash just so I can get better at an instrument. And how do I repay him? By doing this instead of playing my saxophone. I don't know. Anyways, though, going through here, you'll notice that there are these fellas. I'm not doing a freaking clog, boys. Beat us all. What does that mean? Oh, whoa, whoa, Deli, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it's best time against these froggers. And all I can say is these things are an absolute nuisance. So pretty much, yeah, you'll notice that they don't take more, they take more than one hit to take down. And uh, they're, they're just all sorts of annoying, because if you've seen my difficulty with those frogs in the beginning, you'll know that I do not like dealing with these things. Will you stay? Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, got... Okay, this is... There we go. Die, die, there we go. Let's get some health back, that's all that matters. Okay, let's see if I can actually hit you. Are we will hold still! What is this, a wild... This is not a wild... This is like a wild goose chase, except with golden frogs. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, die! Now, the Bob Saget! Okay, die, there we go. I think you have to fight... I think you have to kill six of them or something like that? In order to... Get the Jiggy out of this? Because, oh, spoiler alert, you're gonna get a Jiggy out of this. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, I guess, but still. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay! Die? There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, there. Dead. Awesome. Die? There we go. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's not that I'm too tough. It's just that I have the patience to deal with you annoying sons of guns. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to grab Jiggy number three, and then I'm going to continue on next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is essentially it for the traps. You're saying, rate, comment, sub, peace out, show, and have a good one.